Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Yuma channel. Today we are back with the latest LEGO news for 2023. Now of course, before I begin the video, I just want to quickly say to you guys that 84.8% of you guys who do watch the channel are not subscribed. So if that is you, then make sure to smash the like button as well as subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the latest LEGO news from me. But with that being said everyone, let's dive right into it. So first off, uh, we're actually going to be taking a look at the official reveal of uh, some of the new Star Wars sets. So first off, we have the 75359, uh, the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Recommended for ages 6 and over, we have the official pictures for all the new Star Wars sets. Uh, giving us a very good look at all of them. And here you can see the back of the box. Obviously, it is a pretty expensive set. It will be actually $20 now, not $27 uh, when LEGO officially revealed that they changed the price tag. And here's a look at some of the minifigures you get in the set. Obviously, it does come with four figures. I just want to quickly say as well, on the top of the helmets of the minifigures, there are, uh, they have these uh, black lines. Now, they're quite thick. That's not going to be on the actual minifigure. That is a rendering error. Uh, next up, we have set 75360 Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. Recommended for ages 8 and over. This set looks fine. I think it's good if you didn't get the previous one. However, if you have the previous version, like myself, there is no need for you to get this set because it's pretty much exactly the same. They haven't really changed it up much at all. It has a few extra minor details and such, but all in all, it is pretty much the same thing. And then we also do get two minifigures in the set, uh, being Yoda and R2-D2. Not sure if R2-D2 comes with the back printing, because uh, we haven't got any pictures showing him from the back. Uh, but I doubt that he actually will. Next up, we have the official reveal of set 75365, the Yavin 4 Rebel Base, recommended for ages 8 and over. And this is a very interesting one. I know a lot of people haven't really uh, been too keen on the set. A lot of people have complained about it. Uh, due to the model looking like a 4 plus set. But honestly, from these official pictures, it looks really good. I'm definitely going to try and get this um, as soon as possible. The minifigures are absolutely great in this set. We actually have the official pictures for all of them, which is really cool. And you can see, actually see that Luke and Han Solo do actually include the um, metal molds, which is great to see. And here is a look at some of the interior designs for the actual base itself. Uh, it does recreate some scenes based off the films. And we can also have a better look at the miniature y-wing model which looks really good for its size and highly detailed you know you can also see a few of the play features as well such as some stud shooters and then we also have some of the computer screens and such as well which are depicting scenes from episode four and six um, and then we also have a few extra scenes as well that are, are present here as well which is great to see um, and all in all great looking set next up we have the official reveal for the new lego star wars advent calendar set 75366 recommended for ages six and over this did get revealed yesterday however the picture was very blurry because it was from catalog however now we have all the official pictures and you can see that we do get all these builds and such that are featured in the set of course uh, but more importantly the minifigures you do get six in this you get this uh, clone trooper right here which is orange and white we also get emperor palpatine who has the christmas sweater on which looks pretty much the same one as Darth Vader had in the previous year. Uh, Advent calendar for Star Wars. You also get an Ewok as well with a glider. And then it does also include Old Meager as well, which is nice to see in a cheaper version um, of that figure. Um, and then you do also get Princess Leia as well and a battle droid. Um, Princess Leia, I don't know, the hairpiece looks a bit weird. It looks too low in my opinion. Next up, we have the official reveal for the new Lego Captain America Shield set. And this is quite interesting because we have seen this set uh, uh, leaked uh, before in the catalogue. However, now we have the official pictures, it does give, give us a much better look at the set. And there are a few things that, uh, personally, I didn't know were in the set until now. Uh, so here's the back of the box and everything, and here's the actual set all built up. And, you know, a lot of people have been complaining about this. Uh, personally, I don't think it, it looks too bad. I think, you know, for it's, it's supposed to be a shield and it does the job quite well. However, you know, it, it is going to be a pretty boring experience, but that is expected with this sort of set. Here's it from the back as well, and as you can see at the bottom, uh, it does include Captain America minifigure, which has a shield and the um, Thor's hammer. So I'm guessing it's based off Avengers Endgame. And here's a closer look at that minifigure. Honestly, I'm not sure if that torso is new or not. Um, it looks like the same one that came in the Age of Ultron set or the Avengers Endgame Final Battle. So let me know down in the comments below what you think about that. Next up, we have a brand new LEGO Creator 3 in 1 set that's been revealed, which is set 31144, the exotic uh, parrot. Um, and this, of course, it can be changed into three different models. And overall, I think this one looks quite good. I love the actual build of the parrot itself. I think the other two are okay, but the main parrot build is definitely the best one, of course, out of all of them, which definitely should be the case. Yeah, I love the color scheme and everything, and I think this will be a very nice display model. I think a lot of people will enjoy this set as a whole, and also love the tree build underneath as well. 
Um, I think that looks really, really nice. Anyways, before I continue the video, I just want to say that today's video is actually sponsored by Brick Critic, a site that sells custom Lego instruction manuals. And a lot of the models that they actually have on the site um, have never actually been made in Lego before. So I definitely recommend checking them out. They have some really good, highly detailed models. Uh, and also the link will be in the description below. And use code the Unibricks5 to get 5% off your orders today. Anyways, next up we have the official reveal of all the new LEGO Minecraft sets. Not really a massive Minecraft fan, so I'm just going to put all the pictures on the screen and just give my initial thoughts on all of them as a just a, a generic LEGO fan. Uh, this set right here looks quite good. Obviously, the minifigures look quite nice. and I do quite like the dolphin build there as well. Um, I think that looks really, really good. Um, and then we also have this set as well. Uh, do quite like the building techniques used for some of these sets as well. Obviously, they're quite simple. Uh, but you know, I think that they definitely capture Minecraft quite well with the blocky effects and everything But that's just something that Lego have been doing for the Minecraft theme So there's nothing too special with these sets uh, But some of the minifigures as well included in these new sets are quite good And some of them will actually remain exclusive to these sets um, And some of them are new as well, so that's really really good to see there um, And overall this one looks fine in my opinion uh, not really a massive fan of this one. I think this one's probably the worst one out of all of them. I'm just not a fan of this. And then we have this set right here, which is the biggest one out of all of them. Love this set. Not sure what, exactly what it's supposed to be, but it looks really good, honestly. Um, so really, really happy with that. Love the color scheme and everything. With the red as well being mixed in there. Next up, we have the official reveal of the new LEGO Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle and Ground set. This will be retailing for $170, which is a pretty good pricing that it consists way over of 2,000 pieces. Essentially, this is a micro scale version of that micro scale Hogwarts castle that we got ages ago in 2018. That was around $400. And this got leaked yesterday, but now that we have the official pictures, there are some really cool things that we didn't know about this. So, first off, I just want to say that the detailing of this thing is really good, especially for its size and everything. Love the dumb uh, strength ship and the carriage included as well. And also, you can see from the back at the bottom, it does actually recreate some uh, scenes from the Harry Potter films, which is really, really good to see. You can see you do have the devil snare as well as the chess. Uh, scene there for the first movie so i think that's great and it does include a minifigure as well which is actually a golden version of the architect uh, the person who designed hogwarts castle i think that is really really good honestly really love that i don't actually think we've got this minifigure ever before so it's really nice to have an exclusive figure for the set to encourage more people to buy it next up we have the official reveal of the new city set so first off we have set 60367 the passion passenger airplane with 913 pieces recommended for ages 7 and over this is by far probably the best city set out of all of them uh, that i will be showing in today's video i think this looks absolutely brilliant the plane looks really detailed and there is a lot of space in the interior as well, which I really, really appreciate from LEGO. This will be a very nice set to add to a uh, LEGO City Airport um, to expand your city. Next up, we have set 60395, recommended for ages 6 and over. Now, these sets that I'm going to be showing now are actually based off the new 2K Drive games. This is sort of a way of LEGO promoting the, the game itself, which I think is a really good idea. And it does come with some pretty cool driving minifigures as well. I really love the torso print printings there for all of those. Next up, we have set 60396, uh, recommended for ages 6 and over, another 2K Drive set. And these are actually vehicles that are featured in the game as well. I thought I would tell you that now. Uh, but some of these vehicles actually look pretty cool and neat. I really, I really like this one in particular there. And you do also get some more really cool looking minifigures as well. Next up, we have six, uh, 60397. Again, recommended for ages 6 and over. Not really a massive fan of this one, honestly. I just don't really like the concept of it. I think the other ones look much better, especially the previous one that I showed. But the minifigures are pretty decent as well. Uh, I think those are probably going to be a pretty big draw for the set. Uh, and then next up, moving on to Ninjago, we actually have a first look at the new builder minifigures for the Ninjago theme. Because uh, it will be Ninjago theme based for the new builder minifigures. And this was actually found by Dylan Cho at the Lego, Lego shop early next up lego finally decided to official reveal set 30653 the batman 1992 poly bag i don't know why they took them so long but it's a really nice way to get that batman cow if you don't have it uh for a really cheap way and uh, next up we have a brand new lego technic set which is set 42161 the lamborghini uh recommended for ages nine and over this one looks really good love the color scheme of the light green there and the building techniques make this look really really slick as a model overall and a really nice display piece next up we have a set 42160 the audi rsq uh that has been officially revealed recommended for ages 10 and over this one i'm not a really massive fan of honestly i prefer the uh, lamborghini i think that looks much better uh but i think it looks okay in my opinion next up we have the official reveal for the last sonic set which is set 76993 the sonic versus the dr eggman robot set 
uh, this one was uh, for some reason not revealed when the other ones were revealed. So really glad that we finally have all the official pictures for this now. Uh, here's a better look at the Sonic minifigure that you do get in the set. And you can see that you do actually have the ability to put him in the sphere thing as well, which does actually roll around to sort of uh, depict him running really fast, which I think is great to see, uh, sort of similar to the games. Next to we have a brand new LEGO Friends set that's been revealed, which is set 41768, recommended for ages 8 and over. And here is another one as well. We don't have the box picture for the set just yet, so we just have the official picture of the set all built up. And then we also have the new Friends uh, advent calendar that's been revealed, being set 41. 758 recommended for age 6 and over and here are all the contents that are included inside of this advent calendar not really a massive fan of this one i think this is probably the worst one out of them all but there we go everyone with that being said this is the end of the video if you enjoy it then make sure to smash that like button as well as subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the latest lego news from me let me know down in the comments below what you think about these new sets and which one is your favorite i'll see you guys soon so peace out see you later and bye bye